Back to midday as we have Eldon Cole from the University of Missouri Extension Office. Thanks for being here. Glad to be here. I, we were talking in the break and I told him we drove past a lot of cattle on the Girlfriend Getaway last week as we were driving past rural parts of Missouri and you said, that's, that sounds about right. <laughs> that is right. We have a lot of cow-calf operations in southwest Missouri. That's our niche in the industry. Okay, and so there's an event coming up in July that we want to talk about that has to do with beef cattle. Right on July 2nd. 7 o'clock in the evening at Mount Vernon at the university's research farm. We're going to uh, give producers a chance to see how our cattle that we sent to Iowa last November performed in the feedlot and ultimately how did their carcasses hang up. So uh, we will uh, reveal all of the uh, strengths and weaknesses and Cattle aren't all produce, or, uh, uh, similar in their genetic makeup, so uh, this gives producers a chance to find out, well, am I on the right track to produce what the uh, industry wants? Yeah. And so what are some of those variables that farmers could take away? We're talking the amount that they're feeding them, what kind of things they're feeding them, or? Probably one of the biggest attractants to the folks in the program is rate of gain. Are my cattle gaining rapidly? We have some cattle gain four pounds a day, others wow. just probably less than three. So uh, that's one thing they look at. They also like to have a high percentage of their cattle produce a choice or higher quality grade. And that gives it uh, juiciness, flavor, tenderness is impacted also. So those are the things the farmers are interested in. Okay, and of course it seems like the farmers will probably be the ones who are most interested in this meeting, but it is open to the public. Absolutely, we like everybody to come and a lot of farmers who weren't in the program can come and relate to the types of cattle that we had in it because we had a wide variety of breeds and breed crosses this time. So it's always kind of an interesting thing to figure out, well, am I producing the right breed? Maybe I need to make some changes in my program. Sure. Well, Eldon Cole, thank you so much. If you'd like some more information, you can find the MU Extension Office online, or you can give them a call at that number right there on your screen. Stick with us. We are wrapping up this midday show when we come back.